Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Psycho Time Plays Final Fantasy VI. Alright, so it turns out that I did miss a few things. Um, first thing, we're going to hop here and we're going to go north of this area. Um, I need a bunch of trees. A bunch of trees. A bunch of trees. Trees? Trees? Hmm. I'm not too certain where the game was telling me to go from there. Hold on. It's supposed to be north of Nosh. Alright, uh, trees? Ah, here we go. Little cross of trees. This is important. Now, we're gonna wander in here. Welcome to the hut of a person. If you talked around in Miranda, you would get the information that someone you thought was dead is still alive. Now, for dramatic effect, let's put Sabin up front. Sovin's master Duncan was not killed. Well, yes. You were said to have died. <laughs> what a man, though. To be fair, I thought that you died because your son had killed you. Alright. Learn this, fool! <laughs> Training on the rooftop, like real men. Can't be bothered to just go train in a field out back, or... In the woods, nah. Get on top of a building. Do it like a real man. Now they're training in the sky. So masculine. So good. I call it the Phantom Rush. In Japanese, this had a much cooler uh, ability name. I think it was something like the Illusory Thousand Blades or something? I don't know. Names are always cooler in Japanese. It just happens. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Now we have something else important to do. Um, where is my... I do kind of wish that I could pop open a map and see where everything is, but I kind of understand it. Uh, what is this location? There are a lot of places that I want to go before I visit a couple of the locations it'll try to lead me to. Doma Castle. Is this place inhabited? I mean, I know that someone poisoned the water supply, but the poison might have worn out by now, and even if not, it's a pretty pristine castle. No? Just nobody's here? I'll have to like look online and see if there's anything about this place because this is a whole lot of empty real estate, you know? Oh well. Um, where else is there to go? Let's fly this way. Actually, uh, no, we're gonna go that way. Sorry. Um, hold on, I kind of need to backdrop this against the water. There we go. Something right here. What is this place? 
It's another house. Dragon's Neck Coliseum. This is important, but we are not going to do the Coliseum just yet. Coliseum is one of the more interesting things that has opened up in this world, but it's not time for it. And I don't want to waste it right now whenever I intend to dedicate a whole episode to it, you know? Let's plop down right here. This is Miranda, right? Coligan. That's what I said. Um, this is not helpful. This is not where I want to go. Oh, no. I don't want to fight you. You know what? Let's just kill it. It'd take less time to kill it than it would to run from it, honestly. There. It's done. Now, I imagine if Gao is anywhere, he's probably back in the Velt area. You know, he's feral. He probably just went back to the place he's most familiar with. Um, that would be What's-Her-Face's Tomb. Um, what's over here? What are you? What's your purpose? Oh, sit down right here. Um, is this Zozo? It is. Don't want to go to Zozo yet. Sorry if this is a whole lot of me wandering around, but the world has changed. Um... And as such, my already kind of like bad grasp of where everything is, is now worse. Um, this is the town of rich people. Let's see how they're doing. Did your money buy you like safety? Uh-huh. Yes. A lot of carrier pigeons heading towards Miranda. Bowser has a perfect likeness of like a stall up in his house. Good. Oh, no, no, let me out. Well, I'm going to. Paintings. I wonder if he would have any idea where Realm would be. I mean, Realm isn't the one that I want most back in the party, but, uh... Um, hmm. Bowser is not home. Bowser. You. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go visit the Opera House. Um, Tara and Celez were the only two girls in the party, but... Who knows? Maybe Locke became, like... An operano. A soprano. From HBO. I don't know, man. Look, I'm just looking for, like, someone, something special. The next area that I need to go to, kind of like. Okay. Impresario, where are you at, man? And if you tell me that you're worried about there not being a lot of business. Um, there's a dragon? Durgan? I'm intrigued. We're gonna go and check up on a dragon. I don't care about the switches. Uh, I'll pull this one. It just feels right, you know? And now we head down this way. Um, let me slide past you here, man. I want to check out this dragon. Because, uh... I know that one person said that there were four dragons in the world. And, uh, you know... Dragons are pretty kind of cool, so... Let's... Oh, Oh, it's adorable. Can I squish it? No. Well, can I go down there and, like, say hi to the dragon? Like, you 
guys don't know, dragons are supposed to be intelligent. Might be a really friendly dragon. Might be like Puff to Magic Dragon down there. It's like, hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to sing about love and friendship. Man. It's obviously not throwing things off too bad because you guys are just blaring music away without even paying attention to it. It's like, oh, keep up the tempo, keep up the tempo, just pretend it's not there. What does this one do? Does this draw me onto the stage? Yes. Hello, dragon. Oh. Well, you're not a friendly dragon. What a waste of perfectly good dragon. You also kind of look like you might just be a dinosaur. Now, I ain't saying there's anything wrong with being a dinosaur. But you kind of look like you might be a dinosaur, bro. That was painful. Hmm. Do you only attack with earth type moves? Oh. I mean, okay. So, this fight might be kind of long, but... It's basically impossible for me to lose, it seems. Oh. Oh, I'm down to one party member. Oh. Oh, no. Well, <clears throat> hmm. Huh. Oh well. In the next episode, we'll be back there and we'll fix all the problems and all that jazz. So, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And in the next part, I will try to remember how to deal with that thing. Catch you later.